Hi, Dr. Rick Nappy here, and today on Healthy Bites, I want to show you how to make a simple, from scratch, at home, very simple, carrot cake. So the bottom line here is, look, I go to these stands, I go to these health food stores, I go to all this stuff, they get this little loaf, you know, for like five, six bucks. Now what I'm going to do today is, I'm going to make two loaves at one time, because that way I have one to eat, and then I have one to put in the freezer if I want and vacuum seal it or in the refrigerator or there's an abundance for guests. So let's start with ingredients, all right? Now, now remember, I'm going to double these ingredients because they are, the ingredients that I'm going to give you are for two loaves, all right? That's in a 9 by 13 pan, each one of them. And the pan, for example, is this type of pan, just so you know, okay? All right, now let's get to it. <clears throat> all right. First of all, this is what we're going to do. We want six eggs. So we're going to take six eggs. Let me get this out of the way right here. All right. I'm going to take these six eggs. I'm going to use a bigger bowl. I'm going to put those six eggs right in there. We're going to go right through this, and I'm going to show you just how fast we can do this. Then what we're going to do is all the liquid stuff will go in here. We're going to take one cup of, all, of uh, uh, vegetable oil. Put it in with that. I'm going to take one cup of brown sugar. I don't use that much brown sugar. Just one cup is good enough for me. I'm going to put all this on the side here. All right. And then I'm going to take a whisk. Okay. And I'm just going to take this like this. And look at that. I'm going to just mix it all up. Okay. There you go. Now that's brown sugar. That's the uh, uh, eggs and the vegetable oil, okay? Now, I'm gonna take just a bit of this, all right? Like two, three caps, because I'm making two loaves in those dishes. One, two, three. Now I'm using pure vanilla extract, not, not the imitation. I like that little vanilla taste that it gets. I'm gonna whisk that real good. Not bad, huh? Okay. Now, this is what I'm going to do next. Okay. There we go. Wrecked it up. Now, I'm going to take in my... I'm going to put that aside for a second. Let's take this right here. This is gluten-free all-purpose flour. Gluten-free. We want to keep that, that down. I'm going to take uh, two teaspoons of cinnamon. You could put more or less. depends on what you like. I'm going to put one, uh, two tablespoons of bake, uh, uh, teaspoons of baking soda. I mean baking powder. That's baking powder. Let's put that aside too, so we don't get confused. Four teaspoons of <clears throat> baking soda, because remember I'm making two loaves. Okay, now. That's all my dry stuff, right? So what I want to do is I want to take another whisk here. I just want to bring it in here, and I want to whisk that. The reason I use a whisk, see that? The reason I use a whisk is so that it really just gets in there and finally gets it all together there. Because remember, I'm making two loaves, not one loaf. So, you know, now this is a fantastic tasting cake. I mean, it tastes just terrific. Gee, wow. I got news for you, really. I mean, there's nothing that you got to think about when it comes to tasting this stuff. All right. Now, here's the bottom line. This is so simple, man. Anybody could do it. I'm a guy. I'm sitting here. I'm doing it, right? You could do it too. And your guests and friends will just free, just love it. Okay. Now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take uh, three cups of carrots. All right. One and a half cups per per loaf. But I'm doing two cups. So I'm just going to dump that right in there. See? There you go. Okay. I'm going to take some carrots. These are, these are not carrots. I took the carrots. Now, here's the great thing about juicing. You see, all this carrot pulp I got from when, when I juiced. I juiced earlier today, so now I'm using that. And this is apples that I juiced. So this is the stuff from the apples, if you could see there, right? Fantastic. I'm going to put that in there. I'm using one cup of that just to mix in with it. Okay? Raisins. You like raisins? Oh, raisins are so good, man. You're going to love the raisins. So raisins, I use two cups. Actually, raisins because I'm making two loaves. One cup per loaf. Now you like almonds, you can use almonds, you can use walnuts, you can use whatever you want. Just dump that in there, okay? That's it. Oop, almost forgot. One half teaspoon of salt. 
You want to cut down on your sodium. You don't want that much salt. Now you're going to mix this all up like this. And as you can see, how that's all moving together. I'm using a bigger thing here so that it's just easier for me to mix it all up, okay? Now that I've got that all nicely mixed up, bam, there you go. Look at that. That's beautiful, huh? Can you get a close-up of that? Look at that. That's all mixed up. That's carrots, apples, cinnamon, raisins, almonds. Oh, so good. Now look, very simple. Now it's time to dispense with, with this. Now I'm going to take this, the gluten-free powder, I mean gluten-free uh, flour, and I'm going to start to mix it in as I sift it in, all right? You want to mix this slowly, you know, because really you want to get it all mixed in, you don't want it to cake up, and you're just mixing it, mixing it, mixing it, until it really all just mixes together in a nice consistency. And it should be about as thick as like pancake powder. Okay? Well, there you go. Ooh. Okay, that's all in there. Now, this is three cups of gluten free, all purpose flour. Why am I using three cups? Like I said, I'm making two loaves because I'm not playing around. This stuff's so good, man. You can scoff it down in no time at all. Now, I'm mixing all that up nicely here. Let me see if I can get it here. And you can see that. <laughs> It's all mixing up nice, and you're just going to keep mixing it and mixing it, and it'll get all mixed up. Sorry, <clears throat> but I have had people ask me, why don't you just show it to us? It doesn't matter how much time it takes because we like to watch this, and then we like to put it on pause as we go through it, and we can just take our little laptop and we bring it into the kitchen. Pretty amazing, huh? That's so good. Now, that's all mixed up, right? Okay. There you go. Ah. Now, you can see the thickness of it, right? That's pretty much what you want. And that's going to make two gorgeous loaves. And literally, in about 25 minutes, this is done. So there you go. Now, I'm going to take some... One second. I'm going to take some... Uh, some butter, okay, Woo. I'm gonna take some butter for you, Ugh. wrong thing. Here's some butter, I'm gonna take this butter, that's all you need. I'm gonna take these cups, these bowls, take my hand. I take my hand because it's my hand. It's me. I know who I am. Do you know who you are? <laughs> so I know where my hands have been. They were washed before I started this. So I'm not worried about it. Right? I'm greasing that pan really good because I want this baby to just slip out when I'm done. Besides, it adds a little buttery taste to it, if you know what I mean. Here you go. There you go. There you go. Nice and done, right? Let's put that right there. Let's put that right there. Let's get this out of the way. Let's take our next one. Okay, there you go. I'm gonna do another pot, just do the same thing. Now look, I got frustrated when I was going to these places. I told you those loaves were so small and they were so sweet that it really would give me like a toothache, you know what I mean? And I don't want all that sugar. I mean, God only knows, I don't wanna become a pre, you know, diabetic type 2 diabetic, you know? So this is really healthy for you, pretty much. And remember, like I was telling you, I took all that stuff from the juicer and uh, all the pulp and everything, that's what I'm making my carrot cake with. So not only am I getting the juice that I juiced with and the nutrients from that, but I'm also not wasting anything. So I'm using this. Now look, this is how simple it is. Let me put this over here. I told you I put almonds in mine, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, don't worry about it because I'm going to give you my recipe in writing so you can follow it. But if you follow this video, you'll be fine. Now, you're going to set your oven at 350 degrees. That's right, 350 degrees. And that 350 degrees, preheat it. Just pop these babies in. 
and literally in 25 minutes or so, depending on your oven, I can't tell you what your oven's going to do. Now this you want pretty much three quarters of the way full. I'm trying to even it up here a little bit. I don't like to waste too much of anything. And you notice how thick that is, right? Nice and thick. Don't worry about the thickness. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Okay. Okay. There you have it. Okay. Now that is carrot cake in under a few minutes. You want to level it out. Okay, level it out. Level it out. That's all you do. Level it out. There you go. I don't know if you could see that, but look at that. That's so gorgeous. Hey, look over here. You can see that one. So gorgeous, right? Mm, beautiful. Now, you set the oven at 350 degrees. We're going to put this in the oven. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you what these two loaves look like. Gorgeous, beautiful, and fantastic. And it's healthy. Stay tuned. Now, here we are. We're back. About 25 minutes later, we've got two gorgeous, beautiful carrot cakes. We, you saw how we made them. Look at those. Look how beautiful those are. Now, let me take this out. Let me just put it on here. And I use these particular types because they don't, they don't get hot. You know, so that's really cool. Now, look at that. Uh, what a beautiful... If you could smell this, you'd be going crazy. Now, here we go. Ah. Yeah. Let's cut a little piece here. A little piece there. Oh God, this is so good. I want to show you this. Look at that. Look how gorgeous that is. See how beautiful that is? How beautiful and wonderful. Oh man. I'll tell you what. All you got to do is know that this is just gorgeous. Look at that. And you've got yourself a nice loaf of carrot cake. Oop, I just broke it. But you know, I don't have time to be wasting here because I'll tell you what, I put a little butter on mine. Some people like to put a topping on it or whatever it is. Not me. Mmm. 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 That is so good. So good. So, you know, just mix up the ingredients. You got a beautiful cake right here. When you cut it, it's like that. God, this is so good. Anyway, Rick Nappy here, FloridaHealthyRide.com. Get lots more information. Stay healthy. And let's have fun. Oh, by the way, people ask me why I wear the same shirt all the time. And I'll tell you why. Because this is my designated, whatever I'm doing, this kind of stuff shirt. Unless you guys want to send me a cool chef shirt or something like that. But anyway, have fun, enjoy, leave some comments. Mm.